Hey, how's it going? This is Michael Erickson Fishing in Austin, Texas, and I'm in charge of the product here at adbadger.com. This is our mid-August 2022 app update. Let's jump into it. And as always, you can get all of the updates uh, at adbadger.com slash roadmap, as well as see things that are coming soon. Now, let's jump into the first new feature. Uh, this is a really cool feature. When you first log into AdBadger, it will now tell you how fresh your data is. So what that means is, in this case, it says uh, my advertising data is up to date for campaigns up to 13 hours ago. This means if um, I just created a campaign in Amazon and I want to see it in AdBadger, it won't be there because we pulled in all of your campaigns 13 hours ago. Now we'll pull it in. A, we'll pull in that new campaign at midnight every night but let's say you wanted it inside ad badger right now very simple you can now open up this control panel and what that will do is actually take you here and what you'll see when you are here is a little button to sync your campaigns that's it it'll pull in your new campaigns just like that pretty pretty sweet uh, You'll also see another section on this little prompt that says your reports. Your reports means things like clicks and impressions. That's 11 hours old. So let's say you wanted to pull in more fresh data for clicks, orders, and impressions for today. Again, you just click, open that control panel, you'll get taken here, and you have two buttons here. Do you want to sync reports or do you want to sync fresh reports? Uh, let me just quickly explain the difference between these two things. We've got sync reports, which is going to pull in all of your data again, excluding the last 48 hours. And then if you click sync fresh reports, it'll pull in the last 48 hours, including today. Uh, so quick explanation in case you're new to Amazon advertising, orders are delayed in Amazon. This is on Amazon end at least 48, sometimes 72 hours. So by default, AdBadger doesn't play with or do optimization decisions based off your very recent data because orders are delayed. But if you wanted to see that data in your account anyway inside AdBadger, you can go ahead and click Sync Fresh Reports and Sync Reports. So know that for me, when I log into AdBadger, uh, I'll be checking this out and I'll probably be coming in, clicking Sync Campaigns if I created new campaigns. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to probably sync, sync Reports and Sync Fresh Reports. Pretty straightforward. Uh, other things on this screen that are pretty neat, it tells you how many entities you have, so how many keywords and ad groups you have. And then there's also a visual representation here. So you can see on this one, we've got a whole bunch of green. This is basically telling us, you know, for my sponsored product campaigns, it's synced perfectly every day, but I could see a little red dot here. And if I mouse over it in the app, it'll tell me, hey, this failed. So the data failed for that day. I can just click sync reports, re-download it, boom. Let's jump into a new dashboard that we have, which is the Dashboard Advertising Trends Snapshot. So the first thing that I'll say about this is you can do any time frame you want for time frame A, and it will compare it to any other time frame you'd like. Pretty neat. And you also have the option, if you click the All Campaigns button, to view any particular campaigns you want. If you want to view some of your campaigns or just your campaigns with the word vitamin C in it, you can go ahead and search that. You can also filter for portfolio and then only add the campaigns for that portfolio as well. So some pretty cool data analysis here if you wanted to view a particular product's change over time. So what do we have here? You can see change in clicks, time frame A versus time frame B, change in orders, change in sales, change in ACoS. You get a nice table breakdown as well, a little bit condensed view, seeing how things are trending over time. It's color coded, it's bright, it's easy, it's condensed, uh, gives you a lot of good info for either a group of camp one campaign, group of campaigns, entire portfolio, or your entire account. It's pretty sick. This is another cool feature too. If you wanted to get additional insight and say, hey, how many keywords did I add over a certain time frame? Uh, or how many targets did I add over a certain time frame? So again, this is showing me time frame A versus time frame B. I can see that I increased my amount of active campaigns by 6%. I've got 128 uh, products now that are active instead of 110 previously. So this is going to be really cool when you start to look at you know changes in clicks and orders and stuff like that. And then you can see changes in campaign count and keyword count. Really, really nice. Uh, if you're an agency or a freelancer working with clients, this can clue you in and give you a nice little report like, hey, dear client, guess what? I, we now have 28% more active keywords in your account. Pretty nice. 
You get a nice little tree map, which I've blurred out some of the identifiable information in here, just showing you, and you can mouse over this, it's pretty nice, uh, showing you your top grossing products in a nice visual format. You then get some more graphs here, uh, cost per click, spend, ACOS, sales. You can mouse over this and it'll tell you the current date versus the same date of the previous period. Pretty straightforward. And then probably my two favorite graphs, this is the first one, which is search term spend by order amount. So you can actually mouse over this and it'll tell you how much it is in the app. But basically it's saying, hey, for zero orders, you spent $4,200 on it in this time frame. And that's actually more than you spent last time. How many search terms have one order, two orders, three orders, four orders, or five or more orders? So, you know, you've got a whole bunch of those spend, but then we're also spending a lot on things with zero orders. So this is a perfect representation to keep your account in check. This is another one of my favorite things because it's actually showing you ad spend breakdown per campaign type, time frame A, time frame B. So I can see here that I spent more, right? I spent $2,000 more. We had that info up top, but now we have it broken down by campaign type. So 55% on sponsored product manual versus 51. You know, I can, I can compare this data, you know, look at this sponsored product auto. I spent a lot more on sponsored product auto most recently. So that's really, really cool data, huh? Next update that's pretty neat is in bidding trends report card. What we've actually done is you are now graded on a scale of 100, so you can see your raw score, and then you can also see your bid health score over time. We've also added clear explanations of what contributes to your bid health. Average ad group size, A cost power ratio, how many weak converters and strong converters you have, and how much you're spending on the weak converters and strong converters. Uh, do use the mouse overs and the descriptions because it clears everything up about what the definitions of these are. And finally, one major part of Ad Badger is that me and the rest of the PPC team is standing by to answer your techniques, your strategy, and your software questions. So just go up to resources and book a call, and we are very happy to talk to any of our software customers. And with that, that concludes this update for mid-August 2022. The next biggest feature that I'm looking forward to is organic total ACoS sales in the app. Can't wait for that one. Have a good one, and I'll see you inside the Badger Den.